Okay, and we all remember the beautiful masterpiece that I made with Layla in our giggly little video. Anyway, so I kind of might have pretended that I liked it at the time, but I'm really not feeling it anymore. So I need to fix this thing up so that it can survive its days with me until it moves on to someone else. I can't really deal with it as it is, so I feel like I'm going to use my little crackling trick um, to fix this up. Now, I don't need to be too fussy about the colour in here. What I'm going to do is use my Pebio relief pen in the gold. Um, then I'm going to uh, paint in here. Actually, I'll probably paint in here first. Use my pen to seal that off. Use my pen here. Put some more gold here. Uh, and then when it's dried, I'm going to crackle over the top with my Triart crackle paste. So it's a little bit of a go-to fixer upper for when I don't really like, 100% like the outcome of, of something. Um, so I'm going to use Thalo Turquoise Light. The reason I'm doing that is it is opaque, isn't it? Yeah, surely. Um, it's an opaque um, turquoise. If you don't have that, you probably can use the transparent Thalo Turquoise. But if you're going to be using a brush, I um, highly recommend putting a little bit of titanium white with it so that it has a bit of coverage. Otherwise, it's just going to be see-through, you know, transparent. Um, so what I'm going to do is just going to do this so that when my crackling dries and cracks, um, we're going to see blue behind the cracks. So this is going to be really mostly white. Um, by the time I finish my crackling on this, the overall colour will be white and just the little cracks, when you see into the cracks, that's when you'll see the blue. So it looks a bit heavy handed with the blue right now, but never fear. I'm going to put the crackling over the top of that and it's going to fix everything. Hopefully. This is a really good way to, um, of leveling up your, your pores. If you do a pore that you don't particularly feel so fond of. This is a cool way. Even if you don't have the gaps here, you can make these blocked out color pieces anywhere you like. Use the relief pen, color in the blocked out parts, crackle over the top. Bob's your uncle. All right, so. All right, so over in this corner here, just wanna go for a golden color. Uh, the QNAG is a difficult colour to replicate if you are trying to obviously do it. Try and get the colour that it spreads out when it's like goes transparent. That's not going to happen today. So I've just mixed the QNAG with a little bit of white. Uh, and then that's given me that little gold corner there. Just so that when I do my crackle over the top, I'm seeing the gold cracks underneath. And then over here, I'll see the blue cracks underneath. All right, guys, the Pebio relief pen. Um, they're not really that hard to use. You put some pressure on the very tip um, and just be really confident with your movements as you're going along. Um, you don't want to hesitate too much or take too long or go too slow or it might start to bunch up a little bit. Um, you really just want to be super confident with your moves. Don't hold back, don't hesitate, uh, just go for it. So we'll do this one down here first. Um, what I've done here is just painted in this area ready do it down this way um, so what I'm gonna do here is just make a border so when I put my crackle paste on top of this when it's dry 
it cannot go any further towards my pore. It has to stop where the relief pen has been applied, which is the point of these things. Um, very, very good for damming resin, stopping resin. Um, you can do a bunch of circles or shapes, whatever your heart desires. Uh, fill them in with resin and it will not go outside of these lines. So we're basically just creating a barrier. Okay, so all I really want to do is make sure, oh, make sure that I've got something under there, um, that I'm starting off the edge here, coming all the way around with a nice clean line and then making sure it comes all the way off this edge here. So pretty good. I should probably just make sure that was going all the way to the edge there. Fiddly, like I said, only like the fourth time using this, but pretty cool. All right, gosh, this paint isn't even dry yet and it's not even coming off with that, that wiping. Should I try one more time? I don't think I'm gonna worry about that. Uh, the crackling will fill that in nice and easy. This down here, I need a little tidy up just here. Okay, I've gone over my little borderline here. The relief pen's dry now. So I'm basically just gonna get my tri art crackle ground and yeah, it's gonna be really simple just to pour it in, push it up to the border here. Um, same on this little corner here. I've just taped this hanging down a little bit so that I don't get crackle on my edges. Um, and then, yeah, hoping it really just brings this piece up to the next level. All right, let's apply the crackle ground. So I haven't shaken this up furiously. Uh, I'm just tipping it over a few times to make sure it's um, all the powdery crackle ground goodness has mixed in from the bottom up through the liquid, but we don't want to fully shake it and create a bunch of bubbles. We just want to make sure it's all mixed in nicely. Um, I'm just going to pour this on. No, I'm not because it's not open. <laughs> that would help if I take the lid off, won't it? All right. So I'm just going to pour this on. I don't have to be too careful. I could even just tilt it off if I want to. But I'm just going to use a little brush to um, push it up to the line there. So I've put a little bit too much on, that's going to be major large cracks. So if you think about that very, very quickly, um, you can give it a little bit of a tilt off there. Now we don't want to muck around too much. Once that's on there, we don't want to brush it around and thin it, thin it out at all. We want that to sit there undisturbed now until it can do its cracking overnight. Same with here, you don't have a very long, long, long time to decide if you wanna brush it or tilt it or just spread it like that with your finger. Um, it dries very, very quickly, so we just don't wanna be carefully not to, not to tilt this too much so that this stuff up here moves, but basically that's all you need to do. It doesn't like to be fiddled with, it doesn't like to be gone over the top of too much uh, with a brush or your finger or basically moved around at all once it is applied. Um, it really wants to be undisturbed now. So I'm gonna pop that in the cupboard uh, and can't wait for that to cure overnight and crack. Um, and then I'll show you guys the dried result.
and hopefully Layla loves it. Our little first real collaboration piece together that, yeah, started off a little bit um, bumpy, but yeah, I think we're going to make a really nice piece of art out of this that I hope she's proud of as well. So I will see you guys for the very end result shortly.